Hi and welcome to our series of VoIPNOW server configuration tutorials. In these videos we assume that you have already installed VoIPNOW or have a VoIPNOW Cloud On Demand instance. First log into the system with your VoIPNOW credentials. The default username is admin and the password is welcome. Then enter the server admin details such as company name, contact address, city, country, email and time zone. All fields marked with a star are mandatory. Once you have done that, you can start configuring the system. Go to Unified Communications and click on the zero priority icon. You'll have several tabs, each with its corresponding settings. In the General tab, you can set the codecs used by the server, the voicemail preferences, as well as other parameters. Voicemail messages that are shorter than the value you enter in this field will not be saved. Under the SIP tab, you can set the length of the extension. This is by default set to 3. You can also set the SIP registration parameters, and then the separator between the organization ID and the user number. This is by default set to star. What is important to remember is that these configurations can only be done if there are no extensions on your VoIPNOW system. If you have a domain or subdomain like sip.hostname.com, then you will need to specify it in the advanced SIP settings area. Next is the fax tab. Here you can enable VoIPNOW's fax functions, including the fax to email and email to fax features. For email to fax and fax to email to work, you will need to set the host name for the server as well as an email address where the faxes will be received. Continue with the charging tab where you can activate VoIPNOW's charging feature. This will allow you to create charging plans and assign them to your user accounts. Charging plans determine how phone calls are charged inside the VoIPNOW system. You will need to set up the currency, currency subdivision, and the local calls charging policy. Local calls are calls between users on the same VoIPNOW server, meaning they don't pass to the public telephone network. Extended local calls are calls between extensions from different organizations on the same VoIPNOW server. Now let's set up role monitoring in the Monitoring tab. Here you need to activate the agents that monitor main VoIPNOW services and send alerts by email when a service is down. Finally, in the Integration tab, you can activate the integration with VoIPNOW Automation a module that allows billing, invoicing, and account provisioning functions. When you have completed all of the settings that have been covered in this video, please proceed to the How to Set Up Channels video next.